Hello there, and welcome back to Let's Play Wallace and Gromit in Project Zoo. I will have to hurry because I only have enough space on my computer for 22 more hours of footage. So, we're going to have to be careful there. Uh, quick, grab him! Ugh. Gromit, you suck a lot. So yes, this is the fiery area of the diamond matic This is for the fire part of making diamonds. I guess they create intense heat and pressure here. Which seems to me like the only actual step that you need to do, but... I don't know, I've never made diamonds before. And I've never got animals to do it either, so... I don't know. Maybe the other areas are to chill out. No points for guessing what the next area's theme is. Um, I guess. So the this part of the Diamond Domatic is for something. I mean that's exactly it, isn't it? I <laughs> mean the whole thing. Is the whole thing's an obstacle course. I mean, some of the parts look like they have legitimate uses. It's just the fact that there's all this bullshit in between. I don't know, but props to Feathers for buying an entire zoo and building this in it in... You know, certainly less than a year, obviously, because they've seen Archie last year. And also, since they live on West Wallaby Street, I presume that West Wallaby Zoo is, you know, pretty near. Um, so I'm thinking, yeah, well done to Feathers for not only doing all that that I mentioned, but also doing it without letting your neighbours notice. <laughs> or the papers. Because the zoo has not only shut down, but has been bought and closed. Yeah. I don't know whether I should go any further with that. Because trying to find logic in uh, children's... well you know, a family friendly video game is kind of well, a video game like this anyway it's a bit pointless and Archie is fine okay. good job they put the uh, switches on top of the fire things Screwed. Wouldn't make sense if they were controlled by some central computer or something. So. Oh, depth perception. Games is actually the one uh, medium. Is that right? I don't know. Yeah, games are the one medium that I see as potential good uses for 3D because you know I mean, I've seen films in 3D and they look 3D I mean there's no arguing that the 3D works it's just a pain in the ass <laughs> um, but yeah I think games it would be less of a pain in the ass because it has you know, if a film, if it needs to be in 3D, then it's not shot very well. If that's, you know, that that's my opinion anyway. You know. I mean, I've seen Avatar, 
which is sort of the 3D movie that everybody always refers to when they're talking about 3D, so I may as well refer to it as well. Um, I've seen Avatar, and yes, um, Avatar is uh, a pile of shite. It is possibly one of the worst films I have ever seen get this much praise. In fact, yeah, because it has got so much praise and it doesn't deserve any of it at all. But what I will concede, the Avatar looks amazing. Right, the visuals of Avatar are great. And I haven't even seen Avatar in 3D because I, I'd heard, you know, people going, oh, well, <laughs> suffering severe headaches. And, you know, that's not good, is it? Technology definitely needs a little bit of fine tuning before it's, you know, commercially viable. I mean, it is commercially viable. It's obvious that it is because it's selling. But, you know, you still see a lot of movies that go in 3D, you know almost parodying themselves about it because it's, you know... Now it's... a little bit... Oh, cool. I do not suck as much as I expected. But yeah, 3D films... I don't think films should be in 3D because... You don't need to have any input there, or if it's in 3D. But with games, you know, especially with a game like this where not everything's ultra realistic, high quality, super graphics, um, not everything always looks quite right. And, you know, you sometimes perceive things a bit wrong. Because of, you know, you're viewing a 3D scene on a 2D plane. I mean, I guess that's what your eyes are doing, but your eyes, you have, you know, two of them. You know, the whole premise for how 3D works, you have two. You're watching two films, as you might put it. You're not watching two films, but you're watching one film with... No, you know, you know, you can't close one eye because you don't get the 3D effect. I mean, not that you would watch a film with one eye shut. I don't know why you do that. If anybody does that, then that's weird. Unless you only have one eye, in which case, yara. Um, oh, sorry, that was really insensitive. Um, I'm sure you get it all the time, Mr. One-Eye. <laughs> uh, so yes. I hope none of the 49 of you subscribers are one-eyed people. Unless you like got... Unless you like Cyclops, which would be cool. Send me a photo of yourself. Preferably naked, maybe. No, that would be weird. I don't know, I think some people get off to that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> enough about... Yeah, that's a bit weird actually, isn't it? Uh, here comes the Archie train. Don't just stand there. But yes, if you have one eye, please do send me a picture. Uh, because it's cool. I mean, obviously it's not really cool for you because, you know, because you've only got one eye. I should probably stop talking about one-eyed people just in case this video ever gets watched by a person with one eye. If you're blind in one eye, then I don't really want a picture. Uh, that's not really... Wait, I'm standing on the button. But the the target didn't go up. I mean, ugh. Ugh. I'll go whining home to the glitch mum about it. 
All right, here we go again. The uh, dense electricity, which is what I've decided to call it because it's so slow. I mean, it's not dense, is it? Why would it be dense? That would just mean there would be a lot of it. Which there is, to be fair. It does kill you uh, instantly at that. It doesn't kill you from the aftershock or whatever. I don't know. I don't really know terms about being killed by electricity. I don't really know a lot, do I? It's evident in this episode. Also, my hands smell weird. I need to... I'm going to wash them, actually. It's not... They're not dirty or anything. They just smell like skips. Um, I don't know why that would be. I haven't eaten any skips. I ate some Pringles, as I mentioned in the last episode, because I kicked a Pringle can over. But yeah, I haven't eaten any skips. I did eat a Subway today. Um, I also ate um, the little dime bars, which actually tasted a little bit weird. I'm a little bit disgusted. Like, not all the time, but sometimes they tasted like salty, which is weird. It's like Japanese chocolate, which isn't really chocolate at all. It's like tea and meat compounded into a bar. I don't know, like, strange lines printed on it. And it has anime girls on the front advertising it. I don't know, from, just from what I've heard, Japanese candy, if that's what we're going to call it, is really weird. And there is a phone call at the phone. I love getting unimportant phone calls. It means I don't have to go for too long. Let's move the mic a little bit into position. Juxtaposition, the best word on the planet. Easily. It just has to be in the right... Oh God, I was going to make a juxtaposition joke but I failed I didn't have the uh, right juxtaposition in the sentence I don't know is it pronounced juxtaposition or juxtaposition that sounds a bit weird <laughs> it's like I'm putting the accent on the wrong part I'm not drunk by the way um, so yes that is this area done I'm sorry for that important phone call that interrupted it, but I, you'll know obviously that I've edited it out, hopefully, otherwise I dropped the ball there, didn't I? Uh, no one will notice anyway, I don't think my viewers are that eagle-eyed. You're all a bunch of idiots. Uh, go watch something less intellectual, all of you. Oof. Yeah, I'll carry on after Archie. Anyway, here is zebra number two. Let's see how we're doing for time. Obviously, uh, 14 minutes, uh, yeah, well, you yeah, know, 14 minutes and, you know, 30 seconds. That was 30 seconds. <laughs> We've got enough time to do the next part. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So let's go into the blue submarine. Well, the submarine's blue on the inside anyway. And we'll learn exactly why that is in literally two seconds. One, two. Uh, nearly, no. One, it was one point. Two. Yeah, there we go. There's two seconds. But hey. I underestimated CD loading times. What a silly man I am. Mind you, these areas are pretty big. Uh, of course, because they're completely linear, then none of it can be reused. You can't go back to it, can you? Not like the other levels, where it's like... You know, 5,000 square meters of space. Or something. And you just wander around it. By the way, 5,000 square meters isn't as much as it sounds. That's like a 50 by 50 area, which is actually probably 
Yeah, it's probably more like a hundred thousand or something. But you know, yeah, you know what I mean. A sort of semi-large area with like some doors and switches and platforms and trees or whatever in it. And I just sort of took bits from every level and said, oh, it's Wallace and Gromit, the game. Uh, maybe my next LP will be Wallace and Gromit, the movie, the game, which I also have, which is Curse of the Were Rabbit game. It, I, I'll tell you the truth, actually, that's not going to be my next LP, but I've de I'm definitely considering playing it because I haven't played that one, like, very much at all. Um, I played it, that's actually a bit of an under-exaggeration, I've played it quite a bit, but actually since I've owned the game I haven't actually played it since I, you know, I, I got my hands on a copy of it, and haven't actually played it since then, and why is it being all laggy and stuff? Yeah, I got my hands on a copy of it, but I haven't actually played that copy of it, the only copy I've played is one that I borrowed from someone else, which, you know, it doesn't matter, but... I haven't played it in a very long time, and I uh, don't think I completed it. I got pretty far in it, though. But yeah, this bit is a pain in the ass, by the way, just so you know. From what I remember from last time's recording. Like, these things kept attacking me, and there's no crackers, and I keep falling into the macerators, and there's a black screen, and I ramble on about stuff that's actually happening that you can see with your own eyes, slash eye, if you're the one-eyed man. Um, no, don't hit me. Yeah, this is a pain in the ass. They come, like, just quick enough, so as soon as you get up, another one comes. See? Look at that. Look at that. Jump. There we go. For some reason, jumping works because you can go quicker when you're jumping than you can when you're running. Obviously, it might be something to do with the fact that there's absolutely no traction at all. Well, there is some, obviously. Otherwise, you just slide forever. But yeah, look at that. And I, you know, when he turns around, I'm moving the joystick in that direction. That's not me being a fuck. Going, whoop, it's so slippy, guys, believe me. No, this is actually seriously the slippiest ice I've seen in any game. Ever. And also, those are the prickliest pricks I've ever pricked. I ever pricked upon. Yes, we have two full crackers. I'm not never really sure how much you start on. And please don't cause a chain. Okay, good. Chain chomp of events. Mario will come out with his time machina. Right, run, 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 hit it, hit it, hit it. Damn it. That never works, and I always expect it to work. What I have actually done once before, ages ago while playing this game, is push one of them into those macerator things. It does kill them. You know, obviously, this game's pretty accurate on what kills things. Um. Because you know, it makes a lot of sense, and also if you're going to have mass masturbators in the area where you have enemies that you can knock around by punching them, you're going to think, oh, I can knock them into the mass masturbators, and that would be really funny and also cool, but, you know, it's never going to work. You always think you're better than you actually are in these games. Ugh, don't need nuts more. It'd be good if they could drop like something useful like crackers, because there's absolutely no use for nuts and bolts in this level at all. Actually there's no use for nuts and bolts in the game at all. Like they're so common that Oh cool, it rolled up there and it died. Uh they're so common that you actually get enough by accident. You don't need to the only time you really need to collect any is right at the beginning of the game when you're making the banana gun. And that's, you know, I guess it's kind of, they need a replacement for coins thing. There has to be a co I don't know. I mean, but you know, not those annoying coins, because they're tokens, really. 
coins does make them sound a bit generic. But, you know, whatever. Neil. I don't know why I said Neil. Okay, so now we can get those lovely cream crackers. And I've never seen plain cream crackers on their own that look so tasty as these. I mean, look at that 3D model of the shiny matte. Can't be shiny and matte, can it? I'm an idiot. That lovely. Yeah, it's matte. Why would the, why would the cream cracker be shiny? That doesn't even make any sense. But yeah, the, the model of those cream crackers looks beautiful. And also, these look like spiky hot dogs, don't they? Or is that just me? It's probably just me. If we take a... Yeah, look, they're spicy. Spi spicy. I can tell the taste by the way they look. Uh, I guess you could with real hot dogs. Well, you could assume... I guess you could have, like, that... You could have, like, that chilli that tastes like... Etzel pretzels or whatever. Also, I just invented Etzel pretzels, apparently. Etzel pretzel is, I concede, is a pretty cool word. I, if I ever have a pretzel company to own for myself, wow, that was a really stupid sentence. Let's start again. If I ever own a pretzel company when I'm older, I will call it Etzel pretzel. And I will change my second name to Etzel. Robert Etzel, that doesn't sound bad, does it? Doesn't sound half bad. Oh. I remember getting stuck on this part. Which is cool, because I won't get stuck on it now. Or so you'd think. But yeah, Robert Etzel, not bad. I fancy myself as an Etzel. If I had a brother, we'd be the Etzel brothers. But, you know. That's not a reference to anything, by the way. You're not missing out on anything. Um, that's just me making up weird, cool names. Yeah. They should make a film called The Etzel Brothers now. Maybe there already is one. You know, I plan on spelling Etzel the same as Pretzel, but without the PR. Yeah, I wouldn't actually pay anyone to do public relations in a pretzel company. Uh, unless it got really big, I suppose. That was a stupid joke. Don't know why I made that. I will never make that joke again. I'm ever so sorry for offending everyone. In the entire world ever. Part three. Ooh, what's this? Oh, cool. The bonus cream crackers. Super helpful. I guess I was a little bit low on health. Doesn't help me though, but yeah, especially not when you're dead. Hmm, I'm dead, but I got cream crackers, so it's okay. Um. <laughs> So yes, let's try this again, shall we? Walk around the ring, the donut. No, it doesn't look anything like a donut, does it, you idiot? You're an idiot acting like an imbecile. And we will ride on these. These things are funny. You remind me of like Wally, -E, except this game was before Wally -E, was probably ever conceived. Oh, I like that. The checkpoint system is like, well, you nearly did it. Good enough for me. Uh, and we also caught you, Mr. Gunner. I see ya. Mr. Slash Mrs. I don't know. I'm not trying to be offensive. I think my parents are in. I don't know. I'll find out. It doesn't really matter. And we can see inside the rope. It will be like, um... I don't know what it will be like. Uh, 
I don't, I, I'm out of material now. I'll just go back to saying inane things about Christmas and pretzels. Uh, who ever thought of pretzels? They're really cool. Like, I like the one. When I went to Poland, we had really nice pretzels, and they were like. They were like 180 zlotys each, which is like 40p. Basically. The exchange rate is like 4.8 zlotys to the pound. So, one pound is basically 5 zloty. So, you know, cool. But, I don't know, I always think of this thing that like companies sort of treat all sort of. To a certain extent, they treat all the all the number the currency the same because it's like a number. It's like, oh, I'll give you a zloty for this, you know. Or you know, I bet you, I bet you a quid that you know, whatever. Arsenal win the football or something. I don't know. What do English people talk about? I don't know. I'm not English. Um, but you know, it's like, bet your quid, bet your dollar, bet your zloty, bet your euro. So they like, zuckerly blub blubbly euro. That's German, apparently. Um. Zar. Rhineland. Uh. Oh yeah, that reminds me, history. Yep, got a history exam on January the 17th. That's cool. Also got an English exam on January the tenth, which is also cool. It's nice to get them out of the way, though. As far as I know, that's the only history exam. But I don't know. I'm a bit doubtful. I'm a bit doubtfire. The history exam is about transvestites, by the way. Um, I just hop over here. <laughs> Yeah, this bit really is too dark to see, but you're supposed to jump on top of the things. Wait, what? That didn't even follow the path. That doesn't make any sense. Hey, call up Frontier for me and tell them to fix the eight-year-old game I'm playing. Oh, yeah. This game's sort of full of the visual... Visual eye fun. There we go. Eye fun. Oh my god. It's the eye fun for... You from iPool. Uh, eye fun. I just thought these are uh, 3D books. You know, the ones where there's like the images and you're like, A dolphin! If we're talking about Harry Bible Fellowship. Which is another cool reference for you guys to not get. I'm so good at alienating my audience. But yeah, those 3D eye trick books. I can never get any of them. My eyes are... Fucked, probably. I mean, I don't even know why, because, you know... Everybody else is like, oh yeah, I see it. That bit pops out of the page and everything's really, really weird and stuff. And you're just like looking at a book, like, what? And they're like, tilt your head sideways. And you're like, no. Why would I do that? Doesn't make any difference at all. It never does. I'm just terrible at perceiving things, I suppose. I guess if it's not an actual picture, then I'm an idiot. So. Happy birthday! Oof. That's a really difficult platform. Whoever designed that platform? Well, feathers, I suppose. I don't know. Did he do this whole thing single-handedly? I mean, I know he got the animals to build it, but... Did he have all the actual creative input? I 
I say he, but have you ever thought that Feathers might be a, uh, a girl? I don't know. When I'm referring to God, I always say she, just to piss people off. Um, but yeah, this it's ambiguous, isn't it, really? I uh, guess so if we're talking about God, if they are being grammatically incorrect for today, um, if they exist, um, you know, Are they really a gender? You know? But anyway, <laughs> we'll stop getting so deep into philosophy and Bible and ants. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, ants. Thanks.